the Supreme Court has agreed to review the constitutionality of President Obama's health care overhaul bill. Uh, it's a move that could have major implications for drug makers. For more on this and global sales is Bloomberg's Shannon Patty P. She's speaking right now with Novo Nordisk CEO Lars Rebian. Shannon? Yeah, thank you, Margaret. And Lars, thank you for joining me. So news just out. I know you saw it a few moments ago, like the rest of us. Uh, the Supreme Court will hear uh, about the constitutionality of Obama's health care reform law. What impact does this have for the pharmaceutical industry? Well, of course, it would be a huge upset uh, if the laws were unconstitutional. Uh, we're just trying to consume the law as we understand it, and it would completely topple all the predictions. So we'd have to see what comes out of this. And, and the country needs money. The country needs to save on health care. I'm sure the pharmaceutical companies will have to pay some way or another. So Now, major implications, but would it be good news or bad news if this law, I mean, I know it would cause disruption, but in the long term, would it be good or bad for well, business? Well, the ind individual mandate has had as a purpose to extend health care coverage uh, to people that are not covered today. That's not good for people with diabetes in the United States that cannot afford treatment today. So it's not good for the uninsured. Uh, how are we going to provide for these individuals in the future will then be another question which we cannot answer today. And I know a lot of companies are counting on those extra 30 million or so people who would get coverage as new customers. Is that something for your business and your model that you're really counting on having those new customers? Yeah, we took a particular notice to the fact that in the law there were specific provisions that were improving the access to diabetes care, which is our business, uh, for a great number of people in the United States. And if this is not the case, then, then we have a completely new situation. Now, turning from the U.S. to Europe, uh, the economic crisis there, how's that impacting the industry? Well, Europe is the biggest uh, trading partner to the U.S. Europe is the, the biggest trading partner to China. If Europe goes down economically, it's going to slow down economic growth all over the world. Uh, right now, we are seeing austerity measures in all the European countries. So while we are consuming health care reform in the United States, we have similar things going on in Europe. We have similar things going on in China. It's all over the world. What are the implications if there's further price cuts in Europe, uh, further constraining of these health care budgets in Europe? What implications does that have for companies, for patients? What's the ramifications? We are, we are seeing several pharmaceutical companies cutting back on resources. That is investment in, in R&D. Uh, that is investment in sales and marketing activities. Uh, the patients uh, are not impacted uh, by these measures. Uh, they are hopefully getting the drugs. Uh, but the introduction of new drugs are going to be more difficult, and that's going to uh, harm people and the general public in the long run. Is it going to mean jobs? Yeah. And, I mean, specifically, could you see your company having to cut jobs? We have just announced uh, cutting back about 300 jobs in our European organization to enable us to invest in emerging markets like China, uh, like India, like Vietnam, like Latin America, but also for us in the United States. Because that's where the profit is. Yeah, out, that's outside. where the growth is for our company. Mm. Uh, and your company is focused so much on diabetes. A new report out today. Why is that a market that you're so committed into diabetes? Well, it is because we were born based on the discovery of insulin. That's all we know. Uh, that's all we're good at. 80% uh, of our business is diabetes. Uh, we are the world experts in treating uh, seriously uh, diabetes, and we will remain so uh, for many years into the future. Uh, I mean, but a lot of companies are diversifying. I mean, there's so many efforts to try and combat diabetes and obesity. Are you essentially saying, I don't think those are going to work? I think this is going to continue to be a problem? No, I, actually, I hope they work. I mean, we see firsthand the devastating impact of having diabetes and the complications of diabetes, premature death, the implications for individuals and families and society. So we certainly hope that we could be successful even in curing diabetes. <laughs> that's our mandate, that's our business, and that's what we go about doing every day. 